and welcome to Grim Fandango, the remastered edition from God, as you can probably tell by looking at the screen. But that's okay. I have never played this. I've seen it played once. I don't remember much of the details, but I remember the storyline and I thought it was like this one. So we're gonna give it a shot. You know, hopefully this will be somewhere near Halloween-ish. Let's get started. <laughs> This part's silent, you'll know why. Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? Mm, no. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm hey, your new hey. travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top-of-the-line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Mm. Well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass and the handle would sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. <laughs> I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? <laughs> okay. Depending on whether or not all of that was muted, because I had music in the background. All right, let's take a look. Looks like I got a message. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, Hiffy. My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. I like databases of deadbeats. 
This end cabin is where I hang my cloak. Yay! Cloak! Not portable. Oh. It's not portable. Ah, the old files, the old clients, the glory days when people died with dignity and Domino Hurley didn't exist. Not picking that up. It's a deck of cards. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. <laughs> it's some sort of special work order. This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer suits. <laughs> this deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer suits. I keep meaning to mark these cards. <laughs> Keeps meaning to mark the cards. I keep meaning to mark these cards. I don't feel like pitching cards right now. I don't blame my boss is always giving me these motivational sales books. They bought the farm, now sell them the cows. <laughs> Stuff like that. Read them already. Didn't help. It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. <laughs> Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. Busy as ever, I see. I'd have more work to do if you had more clients. Ouch. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. Well, well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? Where is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh, man, did I come in on Saturday again? It's the Day of the Dead. Everybody's back in the land of the living, visiting their families like we should be. Why aren't you visiting your family today? Ah, the boss is here, so I gotta be here. How about you, Cal? No one back there I want to see. And you don't want Domino here alone, getting all the good leads. Domino's here? He's at the poisoning right now, stealing your commission. So, you going to the Christmas party? After the spectacle you made of yourself last year? <laughs> I wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> Any good gossip? Well, I heard Domino got a raise. Por favor, tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, Bellissa. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. <laughs> I like
There are lights for wash, rinse, wax, and land of the living, depending on your destination. Here's what I need. Wheels. I like how they're hanging on hooks. Anyways, let's go talk to the... Probably one of my favorite characters. Hey! Service! Hey, who the... Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect the sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey, I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Gladys? Gladys? Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire... to drive! Or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! No. No, no, no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. Looks like I need a new driver. Oh! I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm... I'm... I'm too big. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll... But I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, hey, hey. that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. <laughs> I like that. Uh, what do you think of Manny's uh, scout? Uh, I've got to get this work order signed.
it's locked. It's a whole bunch. Manny, what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. <laughs> I don't feel like pitching cards right now. Oh, I sold so many car travel packages when I was first starting out. When did I lose my edge? Looks like some sort of crafty mime. Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Practicing what? Ring in your neck. What does it look like? Can I walk through your tent? I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, <laughs> famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. A dead worm. Heck, that's easy. There's no limit on those. A dead worm handed me an uninflated balloon. Those crates are completely blocking the sidewalk. What if there were a fire? Huh, well. They're all dead, so fire wouldn't do a whole lot of I don't like the way that eye is looking at me. <laughs> Not picking that up. Hello? Looks like a rope, but it's really just a bunch of cheap ties tied together. <laughs> if you think about it, skeletons really would be really strong because they don't have a lot of weight. I <laughs> like the birds are even dead, that's hilarious.
to all employees of the Department of Death Bureau of Acquisitions. Employees who have made their sales quarters are invited to take the Day of the Dead as a holiday, as long as they make up the time lost on the following weekend. Idiota. <laughs> This place is a mess. I would love to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. Yeah, I'll just change his auto response here. Ah, oh, cripe, Zaver! Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! Perfect. Good going. Give him a bird, you're dead. That's so good. It's the loose end of the rope made of ties. It's pretty long, though. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Mm. I don't want to mess up my blade. I don't want to mess up my blade. Scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. I don't want to mess up my blade. I don't want to mess up my blade. Looks like the boss has gone fishing. Aha! Uh -huh. There's nobody in Domino's office. Not picking that up. Domino locks his window. Fear of pigeons, probably. <laughs> Looks like the boss has gone fishing. Looks like the boss has gone fishing.
It's the loose end of the rope made of ties. It's pretty long, though. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Hang on, just checking. I don't want to mess up my blade. Just thinking about Don's file system gives me a cold chill. I would love to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. More junk I don't have time to look through. No time to ransack. Everybody's at the poisoning but me. This place is a mess. I would love to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. Not picking that up.
Eva, I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, cripes, Eva! Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! <laughs> You'll have to excuse him, Mammy. It's probably a really hard crossword puzzle he's got in there today. <laughs> Even Eva, I'm like impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. Say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! Por favor. I could have walked faster than this. Ugh, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. <laughs> thin wrapper of mortality a soul here lies struggling to be free and so it shall thanks to a bowl of bad gazpacho and a man named calavera Nice bathrobe. But we offer several travel package upgrades if you care to cut the yeah. I want something cheap where I can get some rest. Now that's it. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> you know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster if you wanted. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Slam the front <laughs> into the weeds. Tub the rear end. Two blowers popping out of the hood. You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, on second thought, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. No, wait. Can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno. But my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street! No job! No way to work off your time! Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill! Who you calling a scumbag? Why, I on a... <sighs> I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick? It's time to take one. Hey, you 
missed a great poisoning. Yeah, and you missed a great client. Domino came back from there with a nun. Híjole, I got a tiny little man with a mean temper and no commission. Well, at least you don't work for one. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. I'll never get out of this place. <sighs> you and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. here in the Department of Death. One of the chemicals for our packing material comes out of there. Ugh, that smell. It's a lump of our packing foam.
fuck the dude. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, jeez. What now? Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. There we go. <laughs> We're going to have some 